Welcome to another episode of this virtual stable talk because of quarantine and everything. Today we have Piper and Lizzie from the women's beach volleyball team. Hey guys. <laughs> if you guys want to do like some quick introductions, some bios, where you're from, how you got into volleyball, all that fun stuff. Whoever wants to start. Um, I'm Lizzie. Uh, I live in Carlsbad, California. It's in uh, San Diego County. Um, I play beach volleyball, as Steven said, I've been playing for, I mean, countless years. I don't even know how long, um, <laughs> but I got into it. Um, it was introduced to me when I was early high school, if not like late middle school. Um, cause you play, yeah, well, for beach because of indoor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they were like, hey, check this out. It's on, like, the beach. And I was like, two of my favorite things. Let's put those together. <laughs> Is, like, beach volleyball more common that you've noticed, like, in the California area than, like, it, are more people in California playing beach volleyball rather than, like, indoor? How's that work? There has been a huge, like, flux of girls, like, switching to beach volleyball because of the scholarship opportunities that they create. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. You know, so yeah, there's a lot. Is that because it's kind of like less common that there's more scholarship opportunities? Um, it's newer. But okay. I think sports. Cool. What about you, Piper? Okay, um, I'm Piper. I'm from Ocean City, Maryland. Um, I'm a sophomore. I'm on the women's beach volleyball team, and I started playing beach volleyball in ninth grade after I played indoor. Now, Piper, you do both, right? And Lizzie, you only do beach. Is that accurate? Mm hmm Yeah. Piper, which one do you like better? I like beach volleyball better. <laughs> the beach? Mm hmm I'm bi, so. <laughs> I like going to the beach more than I like playing in the sweaty gym. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would too. And you can get a tan. Yep, that's the best part. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to have some segments here, but we'll start out with a little this or that. Okay, so this or that. So would you rather wear sneakers for the rest of your life or flip-flops for the rest of your life? Oh, flip-flops. Flip-flops, yeah. I would say flip-flops, yeah. That Usually. means you're in warm weather. Mm -hmm. I right. do love sneakers, though. Um, <laughs> like, like, like Vans or Converse or like, like, I really like, I like to wear my Vans. I don't yeah. know. I actually feel like I will choose sneakers. Flip -flops, I, I have to wear socks all the time. I, I wear socks, but I don't know. If that's... <laughs> but that's like a, that's like an uncommon thing. And people are always like, I have to sleep with socks on. You sleep with socks on? Isn't that so weird? Everyone's you're like, a every, you're a serial weird. killer. I know. What like I've seen those like trends on like Instagram and Twitter or whatever where people are like, you're a psychopath if you sleep with socks on. That's me. I could like I can even walk around my house without socks on or like I like. What about that? What about nap? Like cold. What? You can't nap without socks either. No socks are like always on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Trip to Hawaii or trip to Alaska? Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. Alaska would be pretty cool, but Hawaii. Yeah. What yeah. about, what if you had to move to one of them? Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> All right. Would you rather listen to rap for the rest of your life or listen to country music for the rest of your life? Probably rap music. Probably rap, yeah. Yeah. I like country. <laughs> Some songs I know that are country songs, so it'd be pretty repetitive, I think. Yeah. What would you pick, Macy? You're a country fan, aren't you? Um, yeah, I listen to more country than I do rap, but I listen to both. But if I were to, I would get, an, honestly, I would get annoyed by both. The only music I wouldn't get annoyed with is pop. I only listen to country, like, in the summertime. Like, I don't like to listen in the winter. I listen to, like, yeah, like, a warm weather. Like, I listen to rap in the winter. And I listen to country in the summer. <laughs> All 
All right, uh, it's a J, right? Rap? Yeah. I can't do country. Maybe like two songs. Um, <laughs> what's the, is Shania Twain country? She's like pop country. I love what's Shania the, Twain. What's the one song, the, the man, I feel like a woman? That one, that yeah. one, that one slaps. Yeah. Um, pizza or pasta? I say pasta. Pasta? <laughs> I'm from Canada. That's why I say it funny. <laughs> Were you yeah. born in Canada? I was born in Canada, yeah. When did you, like, move back? Or not move back, move here? <laughs> I moved to the States when I was four. Mm-hmm. Nice. If I say it different, but definitely pasta. Do you, like, you? do you like the U.S. or Canada better? That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> or do you, like, go, do you go and travel back to Canada a lot or no? Mm-hmm. I, all my family lives there. Okay. So you go there like once a year, once a decade, multiple times a year. We went a lot um, frequently when I was little, but now we don't go as much because it's hard to coordinate everything with like school and work. Yeah. So like once a couple of years? So like maybe like once a year. But I mean, I have to go back for like um, my passport and stuff to renew it. Mm-hmm. But other than that. Is it true that Canadians are a lot nicer than Americans? <laughs> In some aspects. Yeah, I mean, what aspects? Um, I mean, they're more polite. But they <laughs> swear more, so you have to get give and take. Okay. I heard yeah. they swear more. I never yeah, heard that. So it sounds funnier, but I like it. <laughs> are there any other words that you say differently, specifically? Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask Emily. Emily picks up on them a lot more. <laughs> um i just have like longer o's like house and you and okay. like boat instead um they people say I say tomorrow differently yeah yeah <laughs> you you yeah. split it up into like three words or yeah. three syllables <laughs> yeah yeah but tomorrow <laughs> yeah macy, i like that <laughs> macy, can't, macy can't say picture so that's all right yeah jay said the first time that he met me i said picture like you five different that. times like a like you're pouring a pitcher of water instead of like taking a picture you still say I'm the same <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> all and right he, and he didn't tell me that until like four months after we first met and I was like so you notice this within the first hour you met me and didn't say anything <laughs> all right let's wow. get into team superlatives so this can be like Anyone on your team, coaches, trainers, whatever. All right, first one. Most likely to forget sunglasses on a game day. Does everyone wear sunglasses and visors, right? I do. Yeah. Who did you say, Lizzie? I said probably me. I was going to say Lizzie, yeah. I was going to say Lizzie. Are you forgetful? (laughs) That would be horrible to play outside, to play beach volleyball without sunglasses or a visor. I can't imagine forgetting them. I think I've forgotten my sunglasses enough, but I'm like used to it now. <laughs> <laughs> to play without. Yeah. Um, most likely to drop their brand new iPhone in the toilet. I would say Emily. Fellini. <laughs> just because when we were walking back from practice one day, she dropped her phone in the grass and it landed on a rock and it shattered. Yeah. Oh, that's my worst fear. And it was on a campus. whole practice. So we had to go to the mall looking like chipmunks to get a picture <laughs> really quick. <laughs> that was one of the best ones. Was it a new iPhone? It was like the new iPhone 8, I think our freshman year. And she okay. dropped it in the grass in front of Susquehanna. No. Yeah. I always fear I'm going to drop my phone down, um, like, the storm drains. Yeah. <laughs> when I walk through your storm drain, I, like, hold my phone really close to me. All right. Who's most likely to become TikTok famous? Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, yeah. Taylor? What yeah. does she, what kind of TikToks does she make? All kinds. Um, yeah. Does she do all the dances? What content is, like, yeah. <laughs> content does she have followers on tiktok or is it just like you guys famous one of them did really well 
I want to be the weird one. Do you guys, you guys TikTok, right? Or is no, no. Lizzie, what's your most like clout? One of those where you like make the toilet look like it's smoking. I have, been, I have not seen that. I, I have. Yeah. We've seen them. That has like. Wait, like, will you show us or no? I yeah, I can. <laughs> Oh, wait, I have seen that. How many views did it get? Like, 1,900. <laughs> um, most likely to invent a million-dollar app. Probably rig. Yeah, rig. That was a good one. Definitely rig. What would she, why? What would she invent? Rig and Kale have both taken coding classes. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's only That's basically. where the money's at. What, coding or apps? Both. Apps. All right, we're going to hop into some, like, Q&As. Macy said you guys wouldn't have one for the first one. I said they definitely would. Okay, what's your guys' favorite Avenger or superhero? Do you guys, do you guys like, know superheroes and Avengers? No. Yeah. Sorry, my sister just walked in. Macy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, ask your sister her favorite Avenger. Macy! Wait, is your sister's name Macy? favorite Avenger! Okay, she's not gonna answer. Um, mine is Avenger? probably Thor. <laughs> don't. For obvious reasons. Or Iron Man. Probably Iron Man, yeah. She said Iron Man. Like, listen. Yeah, I don't think I have one. Probably Aquaman if I had to don't pick. Watch them as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't know any Avengers or superheroes. Yeah. I said two, the Pink Power Ranger. <laughs> two two votes Iron Man, one Aquaman, one Pink Power Ranger. What's yours, Day? Uh, I used to like Wolverine a lot, honestly. If you <laughs> had, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Probably speed. Speed. Um, I would be to fly. Yeah, fly. I would fly too. I think I'd go like Spider Man because that would just be so cool. Yeah. What's Spider? Wait, this is stupid. <laughs> What's Spider Man's superpower? The webs. Yo. Yeah, so what? Like you can climb things. Yeah, I can be. I yeah, and propel off buildings and. <laughs> okay. I think, I think he he's it not. It doesn't seem all that super to me, but. This... <laughs> <laughs> What's the Pink Power Ranger superpower? I don't know. She's cute. <laughs> okay um you get one song to sing at karaoke what are you guys gonna sing um i would sing probably like you <laughs> think from mamma mia but if i had to choose a song from mamma mia mm, mamma mia is good you like one or two better that's like they're just it's all great <laughs> You gotta answer it. I like probably just the first one. I don't know. The second one has really great music, so it's hard to say. Mm hmm What about you, Piper? Um, I honestly don't know. I don't really have I don't really like listen to music unless I'm like working now, which yeah. is like never kinda. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know what's new. But I really <laughs> I really like Lil Dicky. Did is you ask Dave? Dave? Who, who? Dave, the show. Dave? Who no, like, know? Lil Dicky like, has his own show. He does? It, ju it just came <laughs> out, like, recently, the last, like, two really? months. There's Dave a Lil Dicky fan right there. No, he yeah. has his own <laughs> show. <laughs> do, you have, do, you have, do you have Hulu? Yeah. Look up the show Dave. It's, like, eight episodes, all gas, no pass. Okay. It's fire. Oh, Wait, would you be able to, like, rap a Lil Dicky song on karaoke? No. <laughs> I, only like, I only like the Freaky Friday song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah that one. Maybe do like the chorus and the Kendall Jenner part. <laughs> so yeah, it's probably, yeah. I always skip the Kendall Jenner part. It's so terrible. <laughs> I hate that part. <laughs> I think everything else, though. Yeah. Yeah. You no, probably, probably feel the same way about Dave. It's really fire and then just some extremely weird parts. Yeah. There's some good um Freaky Friday remixes on SoundCloud you should look at. 
trying to think of the one that I always listen to. The Freaky Friday remix is Freaky Body, and it's Freaky Friday and Body by Loud Luxury. It's really good. It's on SoundCloud, if you want to listen to it. (laughs) If you won a gold medal in the Olympics for something other than volleyball, what would it be? Or beach volleyball. Yeah. What sport would you, what sport are you guys other than volleyball good at? I think it would be such a flex to be able to say I won a gold medal at like curling or archery. Something, something weird. Like Summer Olympics, I choose surfing, and then Winter Olympics, I would choose snowboarding, like half pipe or something. Yeah, that's cool. I don't really think I'm good at anything else. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really don't know what else I would do. I did gymnastics. There you go. Gymnastics is hype. Gymnastics is so hype at the Olympics. Yeah. They're hitting like three um, flips. Yeah. I just stopped some Biles on Instagram today. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> she had this boyfriend who had like really curly hair. <laughs> and I think they broke up. So I was like doing research to see if they actually broke up or not. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I went on to Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to do, so that's what I did today. (laughs) All right, we're going to hop into some Stevenson beach volleyball trivia slash beach volleyball trivia. Who was the first ever beach volleyball victory against in 2016? I think it was it Carson Newman. Nope. (laughs) Um, Was it like Liberty? There's a saint in front of it. Saint. That's a dog. I was gonna say Saint Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Saint Leo. Wait, it's Saint Thomas. Saint Thomas. I never got that. Is that is that Saint Thomas? Is in like the Virgin Islands, Saint Thomas? Uh, I didn't quite do the research. <laughs> but maybe maybe. Wait, were you guys here? Were you guys here when the in 2016? No. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. What was the longest uh, Stevenson Beach Volleyball win streak? In a row. Yeah. Like um, five and oh wins. Yeah. yeah. Say five. What's your answer, Piper? Like, for, like by the team or for like group? For, for the team. For the team. Like everybody? Yeah. yeah, yeah Four. Yeah. Four. No, you got in 2018. You guys actually won eight in a row, and they were, <laughs> and they were all five out wins too. You guys, you guys did it again in 2019, but there were some like exhibitions in there, so I didn't know what was official or not. But yeah, 2018. You guys were there for that, right? Or yeah, Lizzie was. I wasn't. Yeah. Okay. Um, what year did beach volleyball become an Olympic sport? What year? 2008. What's your answer, Piper? 2002? (laughs) Way earlier. Not way earlier. Like, out of the 2000s. 1986? I don't even know when the Olympics are. Like, every four years, it's hard to do the math. Yeah, they're on even years. It was nineteen. It was nineteen ninety six. To wrap up here, we always ask everyone. We make everyone tell their favorite or funniest story about their coach. So we want to hear the best coach Trumbo story you guys got. Yeah, it can be from beach volleyball or indoor. It doesn't really matter. Like a travel story or like something funny he's done. Like a the- ref. Something. Yeah, something like that. I know when we were in the house in Florida for spring break, we were all making bracelets and watching March Madness. And we were playing music and playing charades at like the same time. And he started to sing, um, what was that song? He started to sing a song out loud and it was really funny. And I ended up recording him. So I have a video of him singing the song in Florida. Do you have it on your phone right now? I think I do. I can probably find it. Yeah, see if you can pull it up for us. (laughs) <laughs> he caught me at the end. He caught me recording him. <laughs> was he making bracelets too? 
No, he was he was playing um charades. There's a, there's a lot going on there at one time. Charades, March Madness, bracelets. <laughs> yeah, you're like multitasking. Was this a beach volleyball trip? Obviously, it was, it was spring weekend. break to Florida. Okay. This is. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> he was on. really excited. <laughs> Fill me up a buttercup, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, funny. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> uh, Coach Trumbo loves ice cream. This is a fact. Ice cream on your trips? We get a lot of ice cream, on, especially beach volleyball trips, when we have a little bit more time. Mm-hmm. It's a good time. What's, I think the, ice cream. what's his, his go to flavor? I feel like classic, I think, in his flavors. What's your guys' go to flavors? Coffee. Coffee. I would say probably vanilla. Very plain. Yeah, I'm, I'm vanilla too. I like all the like cookie dough flavors. Oh yeah, Oreo, Oreo. I don't like cookie dough because it has like those weird little chocolate chip thingies in them. The white they're ones. Hard. They're like, like hard and like they don't they don't taste like anything and they just like get in the way of the cookie dough. <laughs> Well, before we hop off here, do you guys have any shout outs, any yeah. social media handles you want to put out there? Um, People follow you, anything like that. Shout out to mom and dad. Shout out to my parents. <laughs> shout out to Emily Polini, because I miss her. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. <laughs> She's also on the volleyball team. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hopefully she watches this to see it. There's a there's, there's a mic up out there of the two of yeah. them together. I was just telling Jay um right before you guys hopped on my sister like last week or something like that was watching all of Go Mustang Sports mic'd up and she like called me the day after and she's like I just watched all the mic'd up so I was like okay why <laughs> and she was like I really like the the women's volleyball one it was really funny she's like those two girls were hilarious <laughs> she was like I like I don't remember who, if it was you or Emily I was like. She was like, I like when the one girl uh, was standing by all, by everyone was like, you guys just want to stand by me because I'm like tough. That was Emily, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My sister thought it was really funny. I was like, why are you watching them right now? Yeah. They were good. We were in Halloween costumes for that. Yeah. That's funny. Getting way more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for doing this with us. Stay safe. Have a good are you guys done cla- yeah. Are you guys done classes yet? Do you have another mm-hmm. week? Yeah, more week okay. well good luck on finals and everything thank you welcome bye 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 thank you thank you